As he's listening to his music, UT student Alistair Keegan paid his respect to artist Daniel Johnston by laying flowers at one of the most visited murals in the city. You can't listen to a Daniel Johnston song and not feel something, um, whether that's love or nostalgia. The man behind this mural and the music heard around the world died at 58 years old on Wednesday morning at his home outside of Houston. His family said that he died of natural causes. The person I believe was the greatest living songwriter of my generation. Filmmaker Jeff Furizig said that he first discovered Johnston in the 80s through underground cassette tapes from a P.O. box here in Austin. Daniel Johnston was literally at the level of a Bob Dylan or a Lou Reed. Furizig went on to make the award-winning documentary The Devil in Daniel Johnston. Listen up and I'll tell a story. The story of how the talented artist and songwriter battled mental illness. And he was very open about it back in the years in the 80s, you know, when it was not a subject people were were free to talk about. And I think he's he's broken down a lot of those barriers because a lot of people suffer from this. Over the years, mainstream artists like Beck, Wilco, and Flaming Lips have covered Johnston's music. One of his last musical performances in Austin was on a day that was declared by Mayor Adler, Hi, How Are You Day, an occasion aimed to raise awareness for mental illness. Daniel Johnston, you know, we're not going to see another, another uh, unique artist like him in our lifetime.